Hello everybody and welcome back to 7 Days to Die and today is the day, day 7, Horde Night. As you can see we've got no worries at the present moment, however in a few moments time, uh, roughly about 45-50 minutes time we will see that the day 7 will go red and it will indicate a Horde Night. Now don't worry this episode won't be 45 minutes long, we will cut out some of the extra work we do so we can get a little bit closer to our Horde Night and we can enjoy four hours of complete chaos and you can see the damage caused by the horde knight and how much we get in ways of survival now a couple of things i did during the night i built some more cobblestone not a great amount uh, i managed to get some clay stone however we're going to need plenty more so i'm going to continue doing that because we're going to need to upgrade these last bits here into the cobblestone walls that we've done like so now this is extra this this doesn't necessarily need to be on your first base but i like to spruce it up a little bit we've got time on this series to do it if you don't have time don't worry about it don't panic you don't need to do it and certainly don't try and prep doing it before you've actually completed this base build and we'll see why shortly but what we're going to do now is we're going to actually build a little bit of a ramp system going up that goes against this wall here because don't forget this wall is our floor so we don't want them to break it and come in from underneath so we're going to put some ramp systems along here like so now you could just put a ramp system there but i don't like it like this because if they break this they've got ground straight underneath and they may actually try and dig underneath and get under anyway what i tend to do is i tend to go one level lower like so there we go and you'll do this against the whole of the side Nice and easy. Not to mention you're also getting yourself some clay soil, which we need for our cobblestone rocks. So it's a win-win situation. Now, I will then place a whole row of this down here. I will upgrade it then. Just the two layers. That keeps zombies busy if they do break through. I will then place my things on. Now, I will put ramp systems here, but because I, I, I don't want just one ramp, if you want it just one, then go ahead and just chuck it as one. However, I want it where it's more than one. So if you press the R button, you can change the shape of what your things are. And we just want wooden frame ramps. Like so. Close that down, and we get our wood frame ramps. And we can upgrade our wood frame ramps. Now I think worth noting, we've now not got access to this piece here that I've just upgraded. It's not too much of a problem as long as we keep this here upgraded. We're now faced with one layer here, one layer here. There's actually two layers here for them to get through. The likelihood is, is they'll climb over this and break into this. So effectively you're giving them two layers to fight here, meaning they will less likely to do it. Now some will damage this, which is why we've got the layers underneath, but they've got quite a few layers to do there. And don't forget we can upgrade the wall on the inside, so we've not got too much of a worry here. Now you can choose to do another layer, which I tend to do. So I will dig out again. And if we just do this little bit of a section here. And then I'll dig one more further. Like so. Now bear in mind, zombies can creep up behind you. Just keep an ear out, keep an eye out. Oh, our day seven's just gone red. Now, the only problem you've got is you've now got to keep changing shapes. So what I tend to do is I'll tend to go around laying my foundation first. I'll then upgrade my foundation. Like so. And I'll do that all the way around. And then I will put my ramps on. I'll also dig this here, out here as well. Because this is a big drop for us. Oh. And it also might get the zombies stuck. Or they might you know, glitch out or something. Which means that they'll then start smashing up all your new ramp. I just tend to just make it so it's a little easier for them to get to. Obviously, with the ramp being there, it'll be a bit better. Now, let's have a look what it'd be like 
upgraded fully like so so i will complete this whole section here now oh, i've missed a couple here to do what i'm about to say i'll just dig this out quickly i like to make my ramp system a bit flush so what you can do is if you come over to the system here shapes and we have wood frame full corner and we can rotate that round like so then i want to oh no i don't want to talk because there's nobody to talk to i then want to get my ramp system place my ramps back in like so and i'll place it all the way along here Here we go. So that effectively now gives us a very flush edge. Just upgrade this bit here and this bit here. So once you've completed all four sides, you're going to be faced with a nice smooth edge here that they can climb up to. What you're effectively doing is you're creating less work for yourself. If we hadn't done this, the likelihood is, is they'll start breaking your floor. So not only will your wall be damaged, they'll have holes in your floor. And they'll get stuck, they'll cause more damage to the floor rather than freely roaming around inside. Now, even though they are freely roaming inside, they will still cause damage to your stuff. But they'll cause less damage. It sounds a bit odd that you're doing this now, but this will save you a bit of work later. I'm just going to upgrade all these here. that one there we go just going to upgrade it to this next day we'll finish upgrading it off camera now as you can see this isn't a massive drop here i can come around up and down nice and easy i want to do a little bit more with this what i'm going to do is i'm going to dig it out a bit more on the outer section again stopping that massive drop so then they end up getting stuck you don't need to do that necessarily you can just leave it be if you want to however i just like it like this because it just makes it a little bit smoother and make it a little bit easier for us to work with now if you remembered a couple of days ago a couple of in-game days ago we worked on some spikes and this is where we're going to make use of our spikes now a lot of people just place the spikes down on the dirt you can do that if you want to but the problem you've got there is is um personally i don't think it looks the best and i'm all about making things look aesthetically pleasing so i'm going to dig out this next layer here like so and we'll just do the first three and then going to get all that then going to get my ramps again we're going to change them back to our squares wood frames i'm going to place down from there now this is front facing so what i tend to do is i'll tend to upgrade it as high as i can at the present moment which for us is cobblestone i'll then place my spikes down like so doesn't matter which way you place them you can rotate them around so they're facing a different way if you want to you can make them look all any kind of way you want doesn't really matter what this now effectively is going to make them do is is they're going to have to run through the spikes to get up the ramp what have even started they're already damaged we can also shoot them but they're also slowed down by doing this and you can do this no matter you know you can do it two three four layers wide we'll probably do three layers wide when we've completed this section here but I'm going to do this all the way around the entire base. So then we've effectively got a defense mechanism already in place. We'll just do one layer before our whole base because we probably won't get time to do another layer. But then that gives us that nice little bit of an edge. And it may also kill some of them. Uh, we won't get the XP from kills, but you know it, it, it'll weaken them off for us to kill them. What I tend to do outside where we've actually got our entrance... I will then expand on this. So we'll dig out a bit of a trenchy here. 
like so. Now you can decide whether you want it one wide, two wide, or oh, sorry, one or three wide. I tend to make it three wide because if you don't, you tend to fall off it and you're in the spikes. I think we need to go a little bit lower yet. I don't think that's no, that's definitely not. We'll just go a little bit lower. I'll just do this bit here so I can show you what I'm about to do. Okay, so. I'll oh, just dig that one out. So naturally, zombies are going to attempt to go through this to our iron door. A door's iron, so it's already harder than most areas. You obviously want to upgrade that as soon as you can. But it will create a weak point. But not all the zombies are going to go for that weak point. They're, they're going to come from all different directions. Just upgrade this here. Just use your imagination that there's another section here as well. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay, right. So, we've got this little bit of a flat now. So we come out. Nice bit of flat. This will be down into the ditch. That will be too lower. Uh, possibly. But what we can do is we can build ourselves wood stairs with rails if we want. But we should have uh, where are we? Let's have a look. Building catwalk, isn't it? The catwalks. It is the catwalks. So we want the catwalks. I had to think them for a minute. So we'll build ten catwalks. While they're building, I'll just point out something else as well that I haven't covered before. You can go direct to a flagstone block if you want. Which is what these are here. I tend to just leave the wood onto flagstone because it just makes it that little bit easier to work with. And I think these are actually slightly weaker. I'll have a double check of that. I think they are weaker. Yeah, see, they're weaker than them. So there's an advantage of doing the other one. Just bring that back off because it's in the way now. Right. The other thing I want to point out as well, so you don't have to keep searching for stuff, what you can do with the stuff you use on a regular basis is use this favourite system. I've not covered this before because it's not really... We've not really used too much. But at the moment, we're doing certain things on a regular basis. We want torches because they're going to be useful in the future because we're going to need some for the outside of that building. So favourite them. What you can do now is just hit your favourites and everything you need is there. It's a little bit easier to deal with. Now, we've got our catwalks. So again, with catwalks, we have multiple options. So at the moment, it is just a catwalk, which you can use up there if you want, down here if you want. But if we do the same as before, select our shape, we have a few options. The one we want is the one with one railing. You can even have it as an empty pallet if you want. That's pretty cool. You have double railing, you can have corners, you have wedge corners, you can also have wood board stairs and the stairs with railings as well, but we want one railing. We then want to rotate it, like so. So what we've effectively done here is now, if we come out and there is something that distracts us, oh, oh, that's okay, we're safe, we're not falling down into our spikes. It's a safety measure for yourself. You can also upgrade them with steel if you want to, uh, sorry, iron if you want to, make them a bit stronger. But you don't really need them. Now if this annoys you, whereas it's like two layers here, we can go back to our railing, like so. And where we saw earlier, just a wood catwalk. You can place a wood catwalk down if you want. Now when you walk onto it, there's no lumps up and down. See? We'll do the same on this side. And then you've got yourself a free or sorry, a safer entry and exit. And it's spacious as well. So you're not having to go down one line. What you can do instead, if you don't want it as a three, as we mentioned earlier, we had one. You want it just as a one. Break this off here. And break this one off here. Like so. We can go to use our two railings. Now, if you use the two railings, which is just a standard stairs, you can fall over the other sides. You'll have to replace your stairs with the 
other section that we've got here with board with stairs. We'll break our door down. Oh, sorry, our stairs down that we've got originally. We'll then put a normal block underneath, which the reason will be apparent in a moment. Do we have any more of our blocks? We should run out of wood frames. Get our wood frames back. Place the wood frame in. Look great it. Now this is a bit of a weak point, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just upgrade the either side of it here, like so. I'm then going to place my thing there. And there we go. It is still not 100% though, because as you can see, I can come on top of it like so. See, I can just literally walk right over it. I don't have to jump or anything. So that's the reason why I don't tend to like using a single track system. It's not as secure. And if you use these stairs, these ones with them, you can walk over both as well. So I'm going to remove these. And then I'm going to rebuild my three-way. I've got, got a stir, wood stairs. There we go. Yeah, place our wood stairs back. So, we'll upgrade it. And that looks pretty now, doesn't it? So now, we can't walk over. See? You can jump over if you're a lunatic. But you can't walk over it by accident. We'll then replace our catwalks we had here. So we're now back to a nice neat... Oh, there we go. We're now back to a nice neat section here. And this is the kind of layout I like. Again, it's down to your own preference. If you don't like it this kind of style, you can go ahead and build it your own way. You know, if, if you feel it's like, you know, too much work or you don't like the look of it, change it, make it something you want to do. This is my style and this is how I like it. And this is a trying and tested method. And you'll be able to see that shortly when we go on to the day seven. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a little bit of a snippet uh, of a time lapse of the build. Hopefully you can see how I've done. I'm not going to include all of it because it'll take quite some time. It'll probably take the rest of this day seven. And we want to move on to the night exercise where we can see the horde attacking us. So I'm just going to go ahead and complete the rest of this. Hopefully, if we've got enough time, we should do because, I mean, we broke into that quite easily. So I'll be back momentarily.
And welcome back everybody. As you can see, we've got one whole side complete with spikes, but we've stopped there. We, we, we only have 15 spikes built because we were working on other stuff and none of the other sides have got any kind of upgrade on it yet. I've, I have left this drop down a bit. It's not really that high and you can run up and down it. So I've left it as it is. The whole area apart from these little top sections here are upgraded. We're getting lightning because it's almost Horde night. So we're now going to prepare ourselves for the Horde night. First thing I want to do is I want to head on inside. I'm going to get myself some animal fat. And I'm going to create some torches because oh, we're going to need some cloth as well, aren't we? So let's find some cloth. We've got some cloth around here somewhere. Let's have cloth. There it is. We'll craft our torches and put our spur stuff back. Okay, now I'm going to leave what I've got in my sack, uh, rucksack because I'm going to be doing some stuff with this and I'll show you why in a moment. But the first thing I want to do, I'm going to risk another ear of corn to boost up my stamina. Hopefully we won't get food poisoning. It looks like we got away with it this time. I'm going to take that's disease. I'm not worried about the disease. There it is. It's the vitamins. So if we if we take a vitamin, we should be able to eat this without getting food poisoning now. I'm going to leave the last two because hopefully I'm going to be able to get some seeds off it. I'm not 100% sure if you can. I think it's just a normal corn that you get the seeds off. But we'll double check that at a closer time. I'm going to make sure I'm topped up on water. Okay, we should be topped up on water there. We'll keep the spurs with us just in case. I've got some first aid bandages there and I've got a normal bandage just in case. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure I've got all the ammo and weapons that I want on me. Have we got our AK? Looks like we don't have our AK on us. We've got our AK, a shotgun, a pistol, and we've got our junk turret that we're going to pop out. We've got some iron. Oh, a gyrocopter schematic I missed there, so we'll use that. Got some more dynamite there. Okay, now you can choose to wear the armor if you want, but in this stage, I'm not going to bother wearing the armor because I'm confident that I'm not going to get hit. I'm just going to double check and make sure that we've got no more ammo or weaponry useful there. Helmets there. Some wood there, we'll keep all of that on us just in case. And that's just we've got a crossbow though we'll take the crossbow just in case but i don't think we're going to need the crossbow okay so if you're really normal time now is horde night but we've got a couple of hours spare just to prep ourselves so just bear that in mind make sure you have prepped yourself ready to go we're gonna get our torches and i'm gonna place some torches on the outside yes this could attract zombies one two three four five six Oh, oh. Oh, right, yep. One. Harder to see here. What we do if you're struggling to see, yourself a block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place a torch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Place a torch. Now we have lighting all around our base. We should be able to see now. now. If you want to, and you've got enough torches, you can put one on each corner here. That's the best location to put them. But we've only got four left, so we'll keep all of them. Let's get our junk turret. I'm going to place my junk turret uh, there. 
This junk truck now is going to operate in this arc, as you saw. Oh, no. Why is it not? Oh, that's why I need some scrap metal. Scrap. Can I not make? I'm sure I can make. Where's our ammo and weapons? Junk turret ammo, that's why it's called junk turret ammo. We've got to make our junk turret ammo. We'll go ahead and make some junk tur turret ammo. We've got a bit of time. That's why we leave ourselves with plenty of time to get ready because if you don't and you miss something, you've got a chance to deal with it. Now we can get more in there yet. We want to try and fill it as full as we can. I'm not entirely sure how much these hold actually because I don't tend to use them that much. Looks well, like it's going to take it all. Let's keep loading it up. Okay, we're full at 82. We're going to place that turret down there. As a matter of fact, let's put it a little closer. We'll get a better arc. Okay, so that turret's going to operate while I'm in range. Now you can hear it working still. And it stopped working now. And it's working again. So we're going to get about halfway before it stops working. Now, I'm going to make sure I've got myself a couple of ladders. Ladder. Two ladders. I'm then going to break. Oh. Well, that was annoying. Can we make it? Hat. We can make a wooden hatch. I just want to put a wooden hatch so I don't step in the hole by mistake. That's annoying. Right, to rectify that problem, that's not a problem. We should just put a wood frame there. And now we can put our hatch on. We want to rotate our hatch. We don't want to put our wood frame there either because that's where our ladder is. Let's just rotate. Oh. You are. Right, you're gonna work there. Excellent. Right, okay. I'm gonna take off. Oh no. Oh. Doing a bit of a mess here. Right, let's try that again. We're gonna take the bottom two layers. Go. We're now safe up here. We need one more ladder. Okay, so we are prepped, ready to go, and this is where this episode is going to end. There we go. This is our preparation phase. We are ready for the Horde Night. Join me for part two of this episode, where we will see how effective this base is against the Horde Night. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it's given you an insight into what we're about to face, uh, and what you need to do to get ready. We've got our turret ready, we've got our ammunition ready. We just need to make sure we've got our ammunition on here. Uh, sorry, our weapons on here. So, get rid of them. We've got a backup grenade and dynamite just in case. And we've got some junk turret ammo just in case. Right, so, all I'm going to do now is just make sure everything's loaded up, ready to go. So, I'll see you all in part two. Thank you very much for checking out this episode. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And if you're really enjoying the series... Subscribe to the channel to see more. See you all in part two. Bye bye for now.